Slow and steady, my dear. Slow and steady. Let's go. When I only saw one ferry, and then I saw the amount of people, and I thought, oh, that's not, that's not going to be enough, no way. Cool. <laughs> so cool, so we got picked up in. See how green and beautiful it is here so far. Hello, nice uh, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Can, can you open that too? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You, you see, you open here and you have this inside the bag, okay? Uh -huh. uh, pen mangan, pen si, si, uh, si dang yuti, right? Cap, oh? Yeah. Okay? Okay. Okay, see you later. This is the 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 dog that I will compare it out. This is the our stream and uh, the stream oh, is on yeah. our land, you know. So the water is drinkable. It's very very clean. Yeah, you can so we can drink it. Oh, there. Yeah, yeah. It's one of the only places in Tanzania you can find them. Uh, we have about 45 months. Are they friendly? Yeah, yeah super friendly. Yeah, they work. This is really cool. It goes up from the ground. Wow. It's really cool. It's like a snake. <laughs> What's up with the roots here? And we have a way around there. And then to, to take a shower is very fresh. Oh, it's really, really cool. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> oh Uh, machine and to link it to a natural uh, cooling tower yeah. that I invented 
and each house has something like this I invented. Uh, yours is, is that. Um, and people come from around the world, architects, engineers, because it's cheaper than a normal air conditioning yeah. system. It looks better and in, you know, it breaks down. And it consumes only one third of the normal no, air conditioning system. Uh, instead of 3,000 watts, it's only 1,000 watts. You can run on solar panel. Actually, the house will be solar panel the, all the time. This year, one of the sun. So if you touch the, the, the tower, it's, uh, it's, it's cool. It's like the human skin, you know, when we have perspiration. No, the, this air conditioning system is like the one you have to buy for $200 oh, in the supermarket, you know? Yeah. And the idea is where the, the cool air is going out, you know, from the grill, yeah. is to hook up a, 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 a pipe. And then the, the pipe is cooled down a little bit more, and actually that, a lot more, yeah. in that tower. And then, and then, and then the, because yeah. upstairs it's 90 square meters, and this is more for five, That's six like square meters. Yeah. Very yeah. small room, and yeah. even that. And you'll see it works so well. I got felt it in there as soon as we went in there. Yeah, the but I just on. only switched it on an hour ago. Um, the water oh, is a spring yeah. water filter. Uh, we have some beers, but if you want to have more beers, the less soft or more soft. Up to you, I can switch uh, oh, anything. Uh, the maps of, of Copania, this is your pitch bag, um, hair dryer, so it's that. These are all like, um, all our brain. Yeah, I hope you can speak about this. <laughs> Um, you have no mosquitoes inside here normally. Okay. Uh, so maybe in the bathroom. So this is like your bathroom. Your oh, is amazing. oh wow! Oh Huge. my gosh! <laughs> oh no, no. Wow! This is uh, really closed, so uh, um, so no one can go in the garden there. And the idea was to be very modern and cut in half and just nature. This is uh, for you, Chris, if yeah, you want to take pictures. Yeah. And if you want to take pictures, we have the official can. The I'm going to have to buy some. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, buy it's cleaner. But yeah. uh, if you want to buy some, yeah, I, uh, you can go to the place where I, I train. This is to hang your towels. Oh, um, I thought that might be for like chin ups or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, also, it's very strong. Yeah. And uh, by the way, this is for your hair. It's uh, virgin uh, coconut oil, oh. the cold pressed uh, that we make wow. just for us. Oh, for yeah. the hair, the skin. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> wow. The shampoo, conditioner, and body wash is made from, from organic fruits from the island. I the mattress myself. It's a uh, recycled oh. foam. Three meters wide. Uh, so it's massive. <laughs> yeah, you have a queen size, king size. This is god size, you know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. So this is our dinner. So I got pad thai. Chris got vegetables and chicken. <laughs> So Chris was actually gone for quite a while and I got a bit scared because I could hear like screaming and I went out and I saw a monkey. <laughs> just a monkey? Yeah. What did you, what did you say? It was just jumping from tree to tree. Oh, of course it's here. Mm. Yeah, see it's five now. That's when you said the monkeys were here. So the monkeys were keeping me company while you were gone. Hey, hi. Hey guys, here we are. Uh, yeah, we're just about to head off to the uh, 2018 New Year's Eve full moon party. We've uh, checked into our accommodation, hung out for a bit, uh, went and got us some dinner. Um, yeah, so we're going to try and head while it's still daylight just to be uh, a bit safe. And we'll go for a few hours, see if we like it. If we like it, we'll kick on. But if we don't, then we might uh, make tracks and go somewhere else. The fellow that owns this place where we're staying at, he's from France and um, just a really cool guy and he said mm. that he's going to some places tonight. He invited us to go with him so yeah they're all the locals here do not really like the full moon parties so uh. yeah because it's obviously it's the biggest party um, that everyone travels to Thailand for so there's a lot of tourists that go to the full moon party yeah. but um, yeah it's good to say that we actually went or like you know even if it isn't good then we can go somewhere else like Chris was saying it is the last day of 2018 and we will be heading into the new year in Thailand obviously and yeah as fiancés as fiancés so um, yeah I've actually left the ring here at the at our um, place because all our valuables like my necklace ring you know our cards they're all going to stay here because people just said not to take any of that stuff yeah, um, yeah so we only be taking cash lip gloss maybe our keys to the folly yeah our keys yeah and That's yeah it. but should be good you ready yeah everyone else have a ha happy and safe new year's eve it's probably going to be past that by the time you see this <laughs> so uh 
Yeah, just spring on 2019. Yeah. Let's do this. A lot for everyone. And be nice to everyone. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Go drag your feet. Keep bringing up the past. Take it easier. We want to make it last. We can make Everybody, looking like absolute mud. That's all right. <laughs> Me and the big boss on our way down to breakfast. So we just recovered from the full moon party. We survived. We survived. Lama and I did four buckets each. Um, Lama did very well. Did very well. Um, it was great. We we, uh, we went in early. Made friends with some English guys while I was going to get some food for Lama and myself. And then so we went and caught up with them. They invited us back to their hostel and we drank and it was really good. And then when we sort of went back down at about 11, 11.30 to go see what it was like, it was just, it was too packed, eh? There was, it just got crazy over the top. So we ended up deciding to go back to the hostel and they did like a countdown on the roof and you could watch fireworks and stuff. So it was beautiful. So we just went and did that. Um, oh, let's quickly show you guys this view. But now we're just going to go have breakfast. Uh, I'm not too sure what we're going to get up to today. We'll probably talk to G and see uh, what his recommendations are. But um, if anyone does ever plan on going to the full moon party, I recommend one, go early because there's not as many people and you can really get to enjoy it and stuff like that because when it gets to around that 11 mark or closer to midnight, it's just it's jam-packed like you can barely move and it's oh, it's actually pretty ugly so but uh it was it was actually we, we, good i'm just so glad we went early so it really made it worthwhile ah let's get some breakfast because i'm starving yeah this one's starving sorry oh, wait. <laughs> Awesome, awesome man, Nikki. We have yogurt. We have passion fruit pulp. Um, honey. We got cereal, coffee, milk, and what are these? Bread. Some bread. And you got raspberry pulp, didn't you? Uh, plum. Oh, plum. I think, yeah, plum pulp. And so pretty much we're just on our very own private beach. Like 
All right, so breakfast is done. Uh, uh, Lum and I try to do some paddle boarding. Uh, failed miserably, and then now we're just gonna. I didn't fail miserably. My little Moana, she reckons. Moana uh, of Motunui. Moana of Filemu, okay? <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna go for a bit of a walk over here where old Mrs. Wedgie Pants is. We'll see how we go. See how we go, Badu Bay Bay. For the coconut. Oka Oka. Yeah, I'm very fussy. Oka, man. Eh. Pakali. Yeah. Someone's still on off from last night, I think. <laughs> How's it taste? Sour. I think sour as. You want some coconut? Yeah, test it. Ready? I think it's off, but it's alright. Yeah. I think it's off, it's definitely off. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I pay uh, one time per month. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to really rock out. Oh, that's good. You... Now I, I forgot already about how to play this punk music. <laughs> oh, yeah. What, what, what music does uh, your band play? Uh, the Cassidy, uh, the Lamb one. Oh, okay. Hey guys. <laughs> So we are here in our villa, um, so we have been in our villa for the past couple days because there is actually a massive uh, storm that has hit the island. We, are, we were originally supposed to check out today but all of the ferries were cancelled and we were told that we could not leave the island because of this huge storm. So um, Chris and I are just currently in our villa, We've been stuck in our villa for the past two days, just been pretty much doing nothing. Me too. <laughs> We're supposed to be going to Kotel um, today, but obviously we can't, so um, that's kind of delayed our plans. And we were originally supposed to get our diver certificate in Kotel, but obviously because of the delays, we're just not sure if it's gonna happen, which is a bit sad, but. What can you do? But uh, all is good. We're just trying to be positive because it's not really that bad. That's what Lama and I was saying. Well, when we went and did Europe, it was just like so much go, 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 mm. go. So you never really had much time to just sit back and really relax and yeah. have a holiday. We've actually managed to do that a couple of times now. Mm. You know, we've had a couple of days, like one day in Koh Samui, and we've had one day here, and now today as well, where, yeah, we just. Mm. do nothing and just hang out which is nice though because even when we're at home we don't actually get to do that all the yeah. time yeah a coconut fell on my head which is why i have that bruise there yeah. bloody coconut <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i'm gonna have dinner at the resort we're at because it's uh it's just yeah it's not very safe to it's just raining so it's not really worth going out yeah but luckily the power hasn't cut out because they said the power might cut out and they still were predicting like seven, eight meter waves, which uh, it doesn't look like that's happening. It looks like the storm has really um, calmed down a fair bit, which, mm. is, like, yeah, which is lucky. It must have been rough out further in the ocean and then it's probably dying off. They said that this storm was going to be the biggest storm since like 1960. Yeah, 1960. Yeah, they were like talking yeah. it up. But then we spoke to the girl who works here at the resort and she's like, oh, you know, sometimes they do this so that tourists can, you know, book ferries immediately and they make sales through people stocking up on food. Supermarkets, and, everyone goes to the yeah. supermarkets to buy stuff. Mm. Like Rangery, Marsh. <laughs> 
Hopefully the monkeys are okay. So Lama's had to restart the laptop and she's had to use her phone to hotspot it. So um, tonight she's not gonna have a phone. Sorry guys. So um, tonight she's not gonna have a phone. Okay. Yeah, but um, I told her not to worry because uh, she can have this one. It might not look like there's much on there, but you've got a radio. Oh my god, my face looks like. Oh, no, you look. No, trust me, you don't look like that. Tonight we are doing a romantic dinner, just the two of us. At the resort. Oh wait, hold on, let's go again. Yeah, I'm hungry yeah. to the uh, engagement. <laughs> what? I managed to cover up my little bruises. <laughs> let's go to dinner. Let's go. Hopefully, uh, we're going to bring the camera. Yeah. I'm going to bring the camera. Should be sick. Can I take your do you understand? You found my heart broken and you helped me make it whole. I'm starting to feel I found something real. The Hello everyone. We're back. I'm um, just giving you guys a quick update because a lot has happened in the past day, 24 hours. So um, we are at a new accommodation and we are still in Copenhagen. Yeah, we're still in Copenhagen. Um, the ferries are now running, but we had a really big night last night massive. and a massive, massive night. We saw the sunrise. <laughs> We missed the ferry, but there's not many ferries running today, but you know, we could have gone on one, but we were so hungover, we slept the whole day. And we got kicked out of our other um, accommodation because <laughs> they had a check-in and we weren't supposed to be there for that long, but we you know we were very lucky for them to extend our, um, our stay. Now we've checked into this little place. Chris had to do some spontaneous last minute booking. Hey babe. Thank you, Booking.com. Booking.com got us this room. It's really good because there's like a pool and there's a beach outside. But this is the bathroom. Yeah, it's just nice and simple. Oh, there's a bathtub. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. And this is the accommodation. So out there is like the beach and the pool and the bar and toilet. We are now going to go down to sort out our ferry so that we don't stuff it up again. Hey, hey! Bring <laughs> Zach Efron. Hey, hey! Mm, mm. Get it! <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh. When 
now we're gonna cut you down. We're gonna drown them out, baby. Don't worry about the haters. Here we are just having some breakfast at our resort. There's Chris, he's getting his breakfast. No coffee. Bacon and pineapple. Oh, kia ora there, fine mate. <laughs> kia ora everyone and happy Waitangi Day to all of our followers um, and viewers. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> so that comes to the end of our Copenhagen vlog. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we have decided to officially do the Q and A's and the chit chats after. What? Oh, not officially. <laughs> What's wrong with officially? Breaking news. <laughs> um. Yeah. So uh, we have decided to do the Q and A and the sit down and chit chat straight after each Thailand vlog, just so we can get it out of the way because I find that. When we do it in a separate video, we kind of... We miss things. Yeah, we miss mm. things. Okay, so Copenhagen. Yang. Okay, so I guess I'll start with accommodation again. The place we booked through was called The Lonely Boys. So if you typed in The Lonely Boys Copenhagen, Yang, their accommodation will come up. We booked it through Airbnb because that was our cheapest option. S similar to last time, like all our accommodation was roughly around the same price, between that $2,000 to $2,500. Mark, yeah, it was about 2200 so and that was for four nights. But I guess you would have seen from the video, it was pretty, um, pretty nice. Yeah, mm. it was pretty amazing. They took us pretty much down to this jungle all the way yeah. through, and then you went past like waterfalls. Um, it was a bit of a hike, but um, when, once you got to the um, the tree house sort of thing, yeah, it was just like a two story tree house as you guys seen in the video. Uh, I was really, it's really nice because mm. you just get away and um. Yeah, it's just really private and secluded. Yeah, so with that accommodation, they also came where uh, breakfast was included for that. We had dinner there, so you could organize to have dinner where they would cook you dinner. And they also had a bar where you could order, your, um, you know, order what any sort of drinks you'd like. And the bar was on a private beach, so no one was allowed to access that part of the beach. They had like yeah, paddle boarding, paddleboarding, yeah. snorkeling, um, and they had all the gear and you just like, yeah, used it whenever you wanted. Yeah, so. not far, you could like just go around this little corner rock and there was a palm tree that like stuck over the ocean mm. and you'd sort of climb out to it, or as far as, far as you could get. <laughs> I didn't go very far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lama did pretty good, she's pretty, pretty confident like those. Of their island feet. That's so <laughs> <laughs> Also, the, another thing that really made the accommodation was the staff. The staff were amazing and um, yeah, they were really good. So, uh, when we went, so our sole purpose for Copang Yang, not the sole purpose, but the, the big thing and the main reason Copang Yang is so well known for is the full moon party. And we went for the New Year's Eve full moon party, which is the biggest of the year. Now we'll talk about the full moon party. Uh, with the full moon party, when we went there, we actually went like late afternoon. That's six, so six o'clock. Yeah, yeah, six o'clock. And when we got there, there was- <laughs> we walked there. Oh my God. Oh yeah, God. we walked there. It was Chris's idea to walk there. And he's like, nah, it's not far, it's not far. Oh man, it was Worse. like- five oh, kilometers yeah. and the hills were like this <laughs> and all these people are catching these taxis yeah. and we're just like oh man so we left uh, the accommodation pretty tipsy and we got there so far because we just uh, sweat it all out from our walk but because we went early we got to experience all of the stores and um pretty much just walk through the whole party freely because we went back to a hostel and we partied on for a little bit and then we went back to the beach at around 11 30 
and man, it was so it was packed. Jet-packed. You could barely walk. It was just a trip. It was it like was, that the whole time. Yeah, it was ridiculous. And when it gets like that, it's just not fun. So luckily, the people that we met at the hostel um, invited us back to the hostel to their rooftop and we watched the fireworks from there, which was amazing. Yeah, a good thing about going early is there's like four or five different sections of different type of music. So you can sort of walk along and see all the different like pick which section you like with the music and stuff like that and then obviously you can see all the fire twirling and go get photos in front of the big you know mm. full moon party stage yeah you get all your photos like done yeah. then so honestly going early is good because i mean and you're also, obviously the biggest thing is the buckets everyone gets those buckets yeah. so um yeah yeah those buckets we had a very good time with those <coughs> yeah. buckets and yeah. you guys will see from this vlog onwards those buckets are deadly yeah so definitely recommend going in early uh yeah but i mean if you're staying at a hostel it might be a bit different because they're going to have a pretty good atmosphere mm. <coughs> already going to the full moon party we didn't ta we got told not to take any valuables your wallet or anything like literally just take cash and cash only so that's what we did and um yeah like we were fine we were, we were still pretty onto it with everything what we did but you see a lot of people get pretty on there and pretty black out and yeah. uh, <laughs> a lot of people lose stuff and mm. but i mean yeah you know it's like, just but also with the buckets when they're making the buckets always watch what they're making so you can get <coughs> normal thailand alcohol which is like rum and vodka and stuff like that which is a lot cheaper for about 150 baht or you can go for like 350 baht you can get a bucket of normal vodka like Smirnoff or like a different different type of rum and stuff like that so uh we we drank the Thai alcohol and it was fine like we yeah we'll sleep so we didn't mm. wake up um like really bad or we didn't get sick or anything yeah. like that so yeah definitely mm. uh, but just watch them make it legend has it that the full moon party originated a while ago with a bunch of backpackers who were all friends and they just had a big party on the beach and then from there it just continuously grew and grew and grew to uh, now it's a full moon party so <clears throat> the full moon party occurs once a month every month <laughs> but obviously new year's eve is the biggest one um and they also have uh things called half moon parties now okay. now uh we'll, we'll talk about a place called amsterdam bar this is the one place in Copenhagen where you can do mushrooms and you can do weed so they serve it over the counter uh, the police know about it and they get paid under the table so it's happy days we went there with our host uh and everyone was just straight up tripping big time so uh, yeah it's funny because he's like oh i'll take you to a reggae bar and he didn't say amsterdam bar he just said reggae bar so we're like okay we're like driving out got there and as soon as we hopped out of the car, I could just smell the gunja just hit me in the face. I was like, okay, so we're obviously at a reggae bar, so you're going to expect, you know, people to be smoking weed. We walked in and there was just people lying on the floor everywhere, just like, eh, like buzzing out over these shroom shakes. I think we had like a couple of drinks there. Yeah, we didn't do any, we didn't do yeah. any shakes or any weed or anything, but we're, um, yeah. we just had a few ingles and then yeah. we gapped it. We originally we went to stay in Copenhagen for four nights, but mother nature had other plans apparently the tidal wave was coming <laughs> from apparently the, uh, the way they were carrying apparently. on but apparently there was meant to be a massive storm coming um but what ended up happening was um the storm sort of died down but there was no ferries or anything like that leaving the island for about three to four days mm. three three days so it sort of stuffed up our hotel accommodation and we had a diving course booked so we, we, it stuffed us up in that way, but um, I mean, it was still amazing. Uh, uh, yeah, obviously our daily budget never changed. That was always the same. All right, so um, to end this, we're gonna answer three questions that you guys sent uh, through Instagram. The first question was from dm.akl. And the question was, what are your tips to saving money for a holiday? No, after pay. <laughs> Main tip is create an account that you put money into no matter what every week mm. every week you have to put it's like a bill yeah, yeah it doesn't matter and you never take money out of that account if you might only be a hundred dollars fifty dollars whatever it is something is better than nothing mm. just be a bit you know mm. more poco if you're a coupe so. you want to catch up with friends don't catch up over dinner catch up over lunch because then you're guaranteed to go home 
Whereas if you go out to dinner, then it's Maybe. always the temptation of wanting Maybe. to go out. Or go go to dinner on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah, and um, invite your friends over instead of going out and eating out. You know, you spend you can spend up to hundred dollars on food yeah. just going out, and mm, that's a hundred dollars. Like, yeah. just. If Do you your guys grocery could, shopping for the week. Yeah. Don't eat out for lunch when you're working mm, and stuff cheap like Cheap dates. The best thing to do is break break your pay down to where your expenses are. You know, whether it be rent, phone bill, fuel, food, giving your parents money, <laughs> whatever it is. You know? Your auntie money, uh, your uncle money, yeah. your sister money, oh, your, your lunch money. Um the church money. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty much what we just did. Yeah. Whenever we got any sort of extra money, like if I did any overtime or she did any overtime or any videography work or anything like that, or if I uh, bought some sneakers online and tried to resell value, <laughs> <laughs> I'm currently negative 455. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, just throw the money in there. When you get your tax return, you know, mm. when you get your tax yeah. return, at least throw three quarters of mm. it, if not the whole entire thing in there. Because the more money you go over there with, then the more you can just you know really splurge and enjoy yeah. yourself and that's what we did mm. we just we sacrificed a lot uh the next question is from marissa etuale all right marissa etuale <laughs> okay uh marissa asks where do you want to travel next what was the best part of your trip and would you go again cappadocia turkey machu picchu uh central south america north Central South America. <laughs> uh, for me, the best part of every trip is three things: is one uh, meeting amazing. She said one thing. Well, she, no, <laughs> she said what was the best part of your trip, and I'm saying there's three best yeah, parts. Yeah, one part. No, three. One. Part. One. 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 You yeah, know, like, one was going to be her, but you know, now it's not her. <laughs> yeah. So the two best parts of the trip, <laughs> not three anymore. Aww. Yeah, no, the three best parts of the trip is one meeting the people and like you know creating friends for life and just yeah that's one two was our combination because it was just mm. crazy nice and three is always getting to travel with Lama and uh going and seeing new things would you go again yes 100 percent, 110 50 100, yeah. this one is from core and this person asked, how was it traveling to Thailand in terms of money? Was it affordable for accommodation, food, transportation? And congrats on the engagement. Such a beautiful couple. Oh, thank you so much for that beautiful um, message and question. So, uh, like we said, uh, Thailand's very cheap. So, uh, when it came to money... Um... <laughs> she has no idea. <laughs> um... <laughs> When it came to money, thank you. Southeast Asia in in general is cheap, so yes, you can. Some people can live off like thirty dollars a day. It just depends how you want to do it. If you want to do it luxurious, or if you want to do it proper backpacking style. So I guess that comes to the end of our vlog and sit down Q and A chat. Uh, we hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and this down chat come on the battery's going to yeah. die okay battery's going to die all right guys thanks for watching crap and yang so what do you got kapunka kapunka sarika thank you guys so much for tuning in and for supporting don't forget to subscribe to our channel uh drop a comment below if you guys have any questions and give this video a thumbs up and we will see you in the next video